In one of your books, you tell a story of taking some number of very renowned Sichuan chefs, and you bring them in the United States to a restaurant called French Laundry, one of the best and most famous American restaurants, cooking at a very high level. How did they react to that? <gasps> well, total culture shock. You see, I was delighted. I was so excited. So I'd taken these wonderful chefs, all of them, extremely accomplished practitioners of Sichuanese cuisine. And here I was going to, you know, I got a table at the best restaurant, held to be the best restaurant in North America for some of the finest the West had to offer. And um, there were all kinds of things that they found very difficult. The first was that we started eating, our reservation was at 9.30. Chinese people like to eat at 6 or 6.30. So they were already in a bit of a bad mood by the time we started. As I would be. <laughs> Then it was a four-hour tasting menu. Chinese meals, even very good ones, tend to be rather fast by, by this standard. Um, so for them, it was a long, tedious, late-night thing to sit and have dish after dish of complicated food. They weren't used to eating dairy products, so anything creamy, not particularly nice. Um, they were really disturbed, and um, one of them actually refused to eat the most beautiful lamb because it was a little pink and bloody in the middle. And of course, in China, traditionally only barbarians eat raw meat, and you just don't eat raw meat. They thought um, the olives <laughs> tasted like Chinese medicine. Um, <laughs> and they also um, found that, you know, in China, um, a meal should always leave you feeling very sort of refreshed and relaxed, and that's why you finish in many regions with a light, refreshing palate cleansing soup or with fresh fruit and at the French Laundry we ended like at many classic Western tasting menus with a whole sequence of very heavy sweet dishes which was not very comfortable for them. Also known as dessert. As dessert <laughs> but the most interesting thing was Yu Bo, one of the chefs who's now very famous one of the best chefs I've ever met in China the most uh, accomplished um, he, he, he was sitting in front of this beautiful plate of food and he said Fuchsia, this is all very interesting, but I really cannot say whether it's good or bad.